Good morning. It is 5.30, just getting ready to leave for work. We are starting a brand new project today. It is a pretty good sized patio, a patio doorstep, a stoop, and a front sidewalk. So the weather's perfect today. I'm hoping to get a bunch of work done. Should be good. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Morning, Natalie. Good morning. He's like, yeah, he's gonna come in sooner later. Might as well drain it. <laughs> All right, you thought of me. Thank you. Hello, good morning. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Rewards are fuel for you? No. Uh, okay. Good morning, Ryan. Morning, Missy. How's it going today? Great. Wonderful. All right, I'm just pulling into the yard. It's seven minutes after six. There's nobody here quite yet. They'll be pulling up pretty soon. Should have a full crew again today. Bugs is here. Jade's here. Here she comes. Hi, Jade. Hi, Jade. Are you ready? Are you ready? Boring. Need one sauna tube for our steps. I always like to auger those post hole footings in whenever we do steps like that. What else do we need? Uh, we got a patio door step. Just two one eight. step. It's our two by 12. All right, we got to get the auger on this trailer. Francisco's here. Can you pull this bit? My truck took it. Well, like right this second? I was driving down here and the alternator gauge died on me. Oh. I made it all the way to work. So I need to, you got a, a charger? Uh, yeah. We have to push it over there and put it. I don't think it's gonna make it all the way home though. Well, I will without lights if I get a charged battery. That'll get me home. Yeah. here what's happening with you put the hands in the pockets <laughs> Jay comes around yeah, I know. she, she likes to take them little fingers off I know she bit you in the butt hey Ryan I'm gonna run to this gas station I gotta is that okay real fast you've literally been here for two minutes and now you want me to pay you for 20 more <laughs> wow we gotta push Bugs' truck up somewhere, like up by the shed. The alternator, alternator just went out. Oh, he, oh really? He barely made it in, yeah. And now it just died right there. I just put a bucket on. He's got a trailer hitch. Oh, I yeah. can push it with the bucket. Or he can just do that. Where have you been? At Speedway. For a half an hour? Yeah. Why do you look like you're so tired? I'm not tired. Did I'm you like sleep last night? It's like it. Going to the gas station, we gotta fuel up. Every day is a new adventure. That's how I like it. it keeps life interesting. If I went to the same place and did the same thing every day, I would be very, very bored. When you come here, you never know what's going to happen. And that's the truth. They don't know me. Dale! Good! Thank you. 
that's one thing about this gas station it's it's so small back here there's not a, enough room to uh turn stuff around and maneuver but it's always cheaper here it's always 10 15 cents cheaper than quick trip or speedway i have to follow you why i text you the address I can use my phone. Okay. Did you touch the edges? I did. Oh. All right, we just pulled up to the job. I'll show you what we got going on. Daryl's lost right now. He called me. I gave everybody the address, and everybody showed up, but Daryl. And he called me, he said he's lost, so hopefully he finds his way. So we're gonna be pulling out this front sidewalk here. We're gonna be making it wider and replacing it. This block wall, it's all tilted forward, but they don't wanna mess with the wall. So we're just gonna put felt against the wall on this side and then form up the outside here. And then in the back, we're gonna do this sidewalk right now. It's pitching towards the house. They're getting water in the basement. So we're gonna replace all this, pour it tight to the house, come around. We're gonna bury this downspout. We're gonna put a patio door step on there. We're gonna replace that stooping threshold. And then this is the patio. I already painted it out in pink. And we're gonna go all the way up to the corner right there, up by the spigot. So we're gonna pull all this out and get it started. The main reason for them doing concrete here is water problems in the basement. All this is tilting the wrong direction. So we'll get that all fixed up for them. I don't like pouring up against a wall like that. That's in bad shape, but I talked to them about it and that's what we're gonna do. They're gonna fix it at some, some point in the future, I guess. Tino's here. I was here before you guys. You were? Where did you go? The bathroom. Oh. And it's far away, seven minutes and seven back. Mike was the only one here. Yeah, he was here and then he left. Really? Yeah. When, I, when I pulled in, he pulled out. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Well, I'm pretty sure I do know where he went. So this, I think, will make it. Stick it out four inches. We need him to go three feet because this isn't even cold. You I can't have that. Threshold. Come out four inches. Yeah, whatever, but I think we'll make this like all the way to here a little bit wider and we'll just cut the siding wherever it ends okay, up. Okay, you want to go all the way to the corner? We could do that, yeah, because it's kind of weird like so right. short. And then go at least that far over here. Yeah, yeah, just and then how far you want to bring it out? Three feet. There Daryl is. Finally. I want to knock that stooping threshold or that stepping threshold out and this drill a hole so bugs can stay busy and I'll take the front walk out so those guys can what's stay busy plan, huh what's the game plan the game plan yeah I mean yours I mean what you want to start from how you want to do this obviously I just I want to start with, with start digging and everything oh you can cut the lines out okay in the front and the back you can start with that all right Oh wow, they put an inch of concrete for the threshold. Yeah, no wonder it's cracked. What a bunch of hacks. No wonder it's cracked. <laughs> you can dig right on the line. I got a good six, seven inches already. Mike, where you been? At his bathroom. I knew it. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> Front walk. I got it, you know. I'm good, yeah. Go get the breaker and the beak. Right. Breaker and the beak. Yep. All right, I'm going to throw the breaker on take that step out dig that down put some postal footings in for bugs so he can start working on those steps so 
it right away. Got concrete at noon. I'm gonna try to pour the stoop, the step, and the front sidewalk, and then tomorrow we'll pour the patio. Moving. Right, and when I did that? Yep. Um, that's the box of the house. Oh, those are actual. I just seen stuff moving, I wanted to let you know right away. They got some homemade something going on here. Yeah. And they just covered everything with dirt. You can't see what's going on. No. I don't smell nothing. <laughs> the gas line is not like two inches under the ground. It's Quite way <laughs> no. <laughs> and if you hit a gas line, it'll let you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ooh. Yeah, right. That was like that when we got here. I know. If that was a gas line, don't you think it would be spewing gas? You're so How dumb do you think I am? You're so scary. <laughs> This is weird that it didn't trip a breaker. Yeah, because it was arcing, arcing like a bunch of times. <laughs> How does it not have a breaker? Oh, that building looks like it's homemade. Yeah, that building does look like it's homemade. I thought that was a guest house. And why would it be a... That's oh, weird. Trying to figure out what's going on with this wire. With what? The wire. What wire? Right here is hot. I wonder where the Damn other it. side is. No, it's hot. 
I was drilling it was arcing and arcing and arcing and it, it wouldn't stop arcing. It wouldn't trip the breaker. Nope. Where was that? Right there. Oh, uh, this dirt, one? Yeah, dirt just touched it and it arced. Where's the other side? It's 220, I bet. That's not 220. Yeah. Daryl, that arc would be way bigger than that. <laughs> dead. Little, they put that in a little Romex. It's dead. It's not dead. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Take the shovel and touch it. Here. It's sparking. It's not it dead. It's just sparking. Oh. It's dead. Yeah. It's oh. dead. That's, that's a lot of power going through there. No, really? Hey, Daryl. <laughs> Why quit right? Look at I can't believe there's not a breaker on that. How can there not be a breaker on this? It's 220. It's not 220. I'm gonna hit you with the shovel. Do it, Ryan. Do That's do a big it. spark, I'm telling you. Something ain't right with it. There's more wires here. There's more wires here. That cable? Something. Barrel fishes. See, this is their cable line. This is the old cable line. I don't know what this one is. This is, looks real small, like the one we just dug up. Yeah, I know that, Daryl. I was looking for the other side. Now we got wire problems. It's always something slowing me down. Have wires everywhere, cable lines, power line. Your truck's full. When you put that back on, take your truck, dump it. It probably goes right all the way through the sidewalk too. Probably. <laughs> it probably does. It looks like it does. Like that one going down. Yeah. Homeowner came oh, out there one time. Okay. Oh, okay. That was a roof. <laughs> she doesn't even know what it's for. But if I look, I went down there. And well, but what about the power to there? Is it on? I, no, there was no power in there. I'm sure it's probably the power to this. They just have it mismarked. It's coming right in this direction. So what are we gonna do? Uh, connect it? We got the kit in the truck. Not today. I just want to get this stuff out of the way so we can dig and get this set and do what we need to do. Did you tell her to call the cable company? Awesome. Tell her to call the cable company so they can repair that. Oh, there's a black wire over there. Is it? Yeah, that's a black wire. Oh yeah, don't don't cut that one. Thank you, Eric. Here, you guys finish this. Let's get that concrete out real quick, Daryl. I got it. Alright, I'm going to pull this front sidewalk out. So far things are not going great here. It's mainly all the wires that we hit. Guys are still trying to dig out this power wire. 
we just got to get that all past the form we already got that side all past the form and then whoever repairs it or we can repair it we'll run it on the outside of the new concrete there's a cable line down there there's that power there's that romex right there that's powering that little building and then we got the cable line or as tito likes to call them the orange roots here dug both sides of that up but what are you gonna do we'll just keep moving forward Man, this is uh this is some really thick sidewalk. I know. But did you notice not one inch of gravel under it? No, no gravel. Just six plus inches of concrete. Why is it going this way now? I don't know. What's going that way? I don't even know what this is. There's one and then there's another one right here. No, that's the one that goes under. No. Oh, this yeah. one goes under this one. Yep. And the other one went under it. And the other one went under it. The ruta, sí. Eso es inglés sin carreras, man. No. No. Hey. Watch it pulls out of the ground right here. It wasn't even hooked or nothing. Oh, no, no, it's so crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, it's caught right here. It wasn't doing nothing. We just wasted all this time. Oh, we're wasting so much time here. Too much energy. Well, either way, at least we know where both ends are. That's probably good because then what we'll do, we'll just put this like this and stick it up right here. Okay. That way they can come down the sides of all the forms. You know what I mean? See, it was super easy. I told you guys it was me easy. <laughs> I put that form on the side just when we pour this. Yeah. This hole will be filled up. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. the most part. <laughs> this can get set. This is ready. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. I got that 12 o'clock in Germantown. Uh, you can dump that where the other gravel was. And I'm going to put the rest of this dirt in, in your truck. I thought we'd have the whole front walk set up and pour the walk and the stoops. That was my plan originally, but that didn't work out. That did not work out. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of this dirt on Mike's truck. Dig this all out. We got concrete coming for the step in the stoop. minutes to finish grading that back there but glad it's here hey can you give us like maybe 10 minutes yeah, all right thanks all right we're ready for concrete just want to get that graded back there real quick don't run over my toe that would hurt like crazy. 
Why is her shirt so tight? <laughs> what size is that? No, so That's a medium. That's some stiff concrete there, sure is. How come you have to have the concrete up to the top to hit the forms? Because if you tap it and it's like this, yeah. if you tap it and then and then you just go like this and float it, it's not tapped along that top edge. Okay. You're missing it. Okay. Yeah. Be before you tap it, you want the concrete all the way to the top so it's tapped from top to bottom. Okay. You stole my dirt. <laughs> well, so that was mine. You're trying to take mine. <laughs> Just grade the front walk. Can you grab a few more pins? Got a couple little holes right on the corner here. Right on the top corner. See the top corner? Yeah. Needs a little touch up. All right, we just need to finish grading that little bit. Pretty much clean everything up. I think they're just about done grading the front walk right now. And that's it. We'll be ready for tomorrow morning. See how they're doing up here. Pretty much done. A little bit more right there. These leaves are going to be no fun tomorrow. Peak leaf season right now. We'll wait for you, boss. Okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Give me one second. Good thing he didn't say shut up. I'm on the phone. <laughs> Daryl, get out of the bobcat. No. Go sit in the shade. Thank you. <laughs> How's he gonna sit in here and we're all waiting for him? <laughs>
we got to bury that downspout in the morning. Okay. And then we got to put a piece of conduit across the front walk. Did you see the two ends? Are you here to fix the cable? Did you find the two ends? This, this is one end and that's the other. If you want, you can go right around the edges. I'm gonna try the best I can, but I don't know what they're gonna do when they come out here and bury it. I saved the two ends, yeah, one here and one there. That way you're free to work however you wanna work. I'm, I'm gonna run around it. Bro. Yeah, I would just run around it for when now. They come out here, I don't know what they're gonna do. Well, they're not gonna dig through the concrete. I can tell you that. Hey, <laughs> so man, they do a lot of. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. So. All right, we're done for the day. Stooping threshold step there. So tomorrow morning we'll pour this patio. I'm gonna leave it up to the guys if they want to pour the front walk with the patio or pour the front walk later and just leave a couple guys here. It doesn't really matter to me either way. It's all we got for tomorrow, so not a big deal. So we had a few issues here. It took longer than I thought for sure. Right now it is 2.30. I thought we'd have the front walk poured today, but we didn't get it poured, not a big deal. We'll finish tomorrow. Right, Tino? Yes, sir. Yeah. Victory style. Better use the camera, but I'll see you in the morning. Okay, bye. Adios. Adios. So this we're gonna bury right about there. Tomorrow morning. Alright, that's it. I guess we're done, right? Are those our masks? No, it's just a bucket. Garbage? Oh, just throw it on the truck. Alright, adios. Yep, see you tomorrow. If your truck don't start or something, just take this one.